Yo, hey. what is going on, guys? Excellent. We're back here for another stream. Today we have DJ Cryptomatic in the building. How's it going, bro? Hey, what's good? I'm on the Hex Element show. Yes. Yes. Man, you've got big things going here, my man. You've got this is amazing. This is where this is the channel where where it's going to happen in the future. I have a feeling like you got Ballyard Brand, man. You get Placey <laughs> Crypto. You got yeah. Naga Bull. Oh Nobody man. Hey. That. That's right. I got a. I got a. Yo, DJ Alpha Music is in the oh, wow. is in the chat. That's my I, boy. Uh, What's up? <laughs> I. Uh, uh what was i gonna say bro i uh, so next week i got crypto Richard panda hart. and then <laughs> yep and then crypto heartbeat and then richard hart okay <laughs> in that order nice yeah, yeah. Well, minus the richard hart part but you know <laughs> yeah for sure dude for sure hey um so just real quick i guess if you want to give a quick introduction on yourself or people you know in the chat or in the replay that'd be awesome yeah well, who am I? I'm a DJ Cryptomatic. I'm the the I used to be the only official hex DJ. Now now we have two <laughs> more guys. Like there is DJ Alpha Music now and DJ Patrice from France. So it's the three of us where we buddied up on Twitch. But I've been uh, you know, thugging it out for, for a year now on on Twitch. I started um January last year with my uh, with my music show and trying to outbound message, increase the outbound marketing effects as much as I can during this pandemic because so many people found themselves uh, on Twitch watching all these DJ shows because all the DJs are on Twitch. The clubs were all closed, no festivals, no concerts happening. So everybody right. somehow found their way onto Twitch. And I, I saw that too happening and I thought, hmm, this is smart. So maybe, you know, I used to be a club DJ. Maybe let's use that and i can stream you know i don't have to from my home i don't have to spend hours in a in a smoked out nightclub you know i can just do mm -hmm. this in the comfort of my house in the basement so i build out yeah. the studio and then got all my act together i still had all the dj gear from from uh, way back when um and then I, I set it up so yeah you can find me on twitch it's twitch.tv slash dj underscore cryptomatic or on Twitter at DJ underscore cryptomatic where you find all the notifications when when I'm going live or when I'm on the Hex Element show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got to put that underscore in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the damn underscore. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't fully thought through in the beginning, but now it's there. Yeah. So, well, hey, change it. you know, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and you've actually been a big supporter of my, my Twitch channel there i want to say oh yeah thank you man you you designed uh many of these emotes that we've got uh flying about there on the on the stream and also what you see behind me here i'm, I'm actually in daytona right now i'm in the shop yeah um, he really is just, guys <laughs> just fine checking the oil just fine tuning a little bit the, i heard there's some speed issues so i thought maybe you know put yeah some German you know engineering up in there well you're actually a mechanic in your past life you know? <laughs> no and <laughs> so the they had to the beat they, mechanic. <laughs> yeah so they had i mean they had to hire you to to work on this hex car at the daytona you know <laughs> so he's actually in florida right now not in germany yes, yeah and Catching uh alligators yeah and uh no, but you also also made an animation of this very car that flies across my DJ's uh, mm -hmm. screen on Twitch. With channel points. Uh, exactly. And, and the viewers can redeem that. They can trigger that animation uh, by themselves during the, the show with their channel points. So that's a pretty cool feature. I triggered and, it yeah, like thank you so times. much for putting all this stuff together and and giving that to us it really is a big yeah. support to the to the channel so your bills racking up you know it's going to be about <laughs> be an expensive we're, uh, we're, at, we're at about in vegas <laughs> yeah we're at, we're at about ten thousand dollars right now you right. know so okay so can i pay so with you, channel points <laughs> you, you can pay with with vegas club points okay nice yeah <laughs> oh man nice. but yeah on the uh Yo, what's going on, Flat Earth Underground? How's it going, man? Um, so on the Daytona topic, and that's coming yeah. up very soon. Um, I think the big race is what on the twentieth or something like that. Sunday. I, I don't think. know. What is that? Sunday. Today is the first qualifying one that I understood. 
Um, yes. So today's yeah. important because we are not yet in the race, actually. So I think we need to. I think qualify. it didn't they say that it was like at eight something? Well, that's okay. Never mind. Yeah, Easterns. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's today. And then I think the actual race is on the 20th, which is, yeah, the Sunday. The Sunday, the great American yeah. race. Yeah. Dude, it's, so, it's crazy, though. There's going to be a hex car in there. And it looks so good. Like I've seen, they did the train, the test runs yesterday. Yeah. And uh, it looks so good on the track. It's like you see the hex.com perfectly from any camera angle, whether it's the front, the back, the side. You know, this is really good. And amazing design well and the fact that the number is 55 too that's that's yeah. pretty cool yeah yeah available and stuff like that you know that's crazy. also the, the the pit crew like they run around in these overalls with the hex logo that's the whole thing is just uh, amazing amazing if that's and and how many viewers watch that is that really is it 20 million on on tv as they say I don't know. Just say yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 25. <laughs> how many people, let's see, how many people watch the Daytona? It is 23 million. There you go. That's quite a bit, actually. It is. It's almost it'll like be, Super Bowl, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be 23 million and one this year now that mm. I'm going to watch it, you know. <laughs> So, so you're good. from the heartland, right? You're from the heartland, Oklahoma. Is that the, the heart heartland? <laughs> that... It's 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 the Bible it's Belt. Country. What? <laughs> it's the Bible Belt. All right. It's, oh, the it's, Bible. Uh, oh, okay. It, yeah, you will find a church on every corner of every street. So, okay. Maybe that. I don't know if that's like that everywhere, but you know, here, yeah, it's like uh, Bavaria too. Yes, where I'm from, it's the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's like that everywhere, but people just call it that because there is just, I mean, it's everywhere. Which, and they yeah. say that nothing is more exciting than an Oklahoma thunderstorm gathering in the distance. Is that true? <laughs> that's what are I you heard. hearing these things? <laughs> yes, Brooks that's true. That. <laughs> we so So it's interesting. We gather in circles and do like a seance chant, right, when it thunderstorms. And like you can see every every family like coming together like doing this seance chant like whenever thunderstorms happen. So I'm joking. <laughs> I'm <What>? kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 But what is it like? Um, is there is there like it's all? Uh, what's like, it like? Like here, flat earth underground. Is it all? Is there's no hills or nothing? It's all prairie and. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's it's it's. And, well, I, what do you consider hills? You know, it's um. Yeah. Well, there's n well, I'll tell you this. I've been to Tennessee, and it's nothing like that. It is pretty okay. flat. It's yeah, it's yeah. pretty flat. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's it's you know people say that you know we do our sisters and stuff, and I guarantee you that's not <laughs> the case. Okay, it's not the case. I promise you. Well, maybe for some people, maybe that's more of an Arkansas thing. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? Um. You know how we know the toothbrush was invented in Arkansas? How? Because anywhere else it'd be called the teeth brush. <laughs> they only have one tooth. Well, it's the toothbrush. Right. So. That's mean. <laughs> it's a good one, though. <laughs> hey, they can say the same thing about Oklahoma, so it's fine. It's oh, fine. Man. We take it. Um, Yeah, so how did you get into Hex or cryptocurrency <laughs> in general? <laughs> Changing topics there. <laughs> we don't. We don't have to. We don't have to. It's whatever. Uh, talk about Oklahoma and the the Daytona. Now we have okay. to finish the Daytona. So it goes around in circles, right? You have to explain. This. I'm from Germany and Europe, so for the viewers watching out there, I have no clue about the Daytona. I know a bit about Formula One because that's big over here, and you know we had uh, the champ in there, Mr. Schumacher, who used to be the F1 champion okay. for years and years and years and years and years. So everybody was watching that. And um, but it's uh, the Daytona that is it looks very different. Like, you know, the, the cars they can almost like touch each other, like they drive so close at such high speed, it looks super dangerous. But then it just goes in circles, so there's no other no other tracks right and it goes no. forever it's like 400 miles or something so it's like Maybe. three times three <laughs> times like 60 laps 
But that wow. that yeah, that's it. It's a ring around the rosy for hours, <laughs> you know. And then whoever wins wins, you know. So yeah, but how do you win? So there must be a lot of I think strategy it's like, going on there, like when to tank, when not to refuel, what tires when to change shoot. tires. Yeah, I'm so, sure there is. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> I went to a NASCAR race once, and it was in 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 uh in in Texas, and after about halfway, I left because I was bored. But that was because the hex yeah. car wasn't there. Okay, of course. So, this year is gonna be gonna be different. So, um, but yeah, so that's you're all not I know. Going. No, no, no. So I'm going to Vegas, which I have to take yeah. a week off work, and I only have so many days off work, and I only have so much money. So because I need, I need, you know, I need that that hex to pump a little bit, sure. you know. And I'm 100 percent staked, so I won't be getting anything for a while. Therefore, right. which is a good thing, which is a good thing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so. I'm selling my Xbox, so I have some spending money in Vegas. So you know, <laughs> selling it today for like five hundred bucks, so that'll be good. Um, but yeah, round ring around the rosy circles, you know, um, yeah. and then you win by being in first, I guess. Did you see that Floyd Mayweather was having a car? Yeah, uh, yeah, but what, isn't he a boxer? The world's richest boxer, and like he's like. So he's sponsoring know. a team there, like we do. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you? Did you see the? Did you see the car design? Yeah, it was like like rainbowish, like uh, lots of colors. That's what I that will call. Yeah, it was like. It, so I, I, you probably don't have cups like this, but like there's like these gas station cups, right? And these gas station cups have like these like blue and pink like like designs on them, and 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 every. That's what it looks like to me, okay? The okay. gas station cups. Gas station like the, <laughs> these ghetto gas station cups, all right? <laughs> yes, here it is. Here it is. All right, I need to show you this. Boom, boom. Why is it doing that? Epilepsy alert. Yes, but I see what you mean, though. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It looks like that, exactly like that. Yeah, the yes. hood, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, these are the cups, you know, so. <laughs> so if you get a coffee at a gas station, that's that's what it comes in, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Just some of them, you know, so. <sighs> Let well, me test that in Vegas. I'm all excited, man. I'm, I'm flying in the day before the conference. and So am I. So oh. am I. Have you been to Vegas before? No. First time, I've been twice already. So I've never been on a plane. I've never been on a plane either. Oh, okay, you're flying. Yeah. Okay. okay. Are you driving? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> From the airport <laughs> to the hotel, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I uh. Go rent a car and then yeah drive around town. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, I've never been, and I had to just pull the trigger and say, "Screw it, I'm doing it." Because if I, if I would have hesitated, I just wouldn't have done it, you know. Yeah. And so I was like, "Man, I just, I just got to do it." And so I, you know, got the ticket, and and my, I have like a side business that I don't really make money on anymore because, I don't know, I, I just haven't been like keeping up with it. But anyway, so I made enough money on the points with the American Express card to where mm -hmm. I got like a free flight. So I was like, "Man, I got a free cool. flight." I was like. Let's just do it, you know. So I got my ticket, got my hotel, which is at the Excalibur. I just booked there because might as well, you know, where the conference is at. Yeah, of course. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. totally at the other end of the strip, of course, because back when I booked that, I booked this uh, half a year ago to get a good deal, and and uh, yeah, back then it wasn't announced. Back then, no, it was back then. It was supposed to be the other end of town there. This uh, economic world, no, not the economic world forum. <laughs> the uh, what's it called? Oh, damn. The marketplace. I don't know. I've For, never further been. to the east of town, <laughs> like where the old part of uh, the Vegas mm. Strip is. Um, and uh, yeah, now it's at the Excalibur, which yeah. is awesome. It looks like Disneyland when you drive past there, like all this castle type type stuff. And it's right opposite yeah. the MGM. So uh, yeah, there's lots lots of places to choose from that are really walking distance. So yeah. Yeah, but I hear the Excalibur is not the most expensive, so I hope you had a have a good deal there. Five days 
was like, so, okay, so I'm getting there the 5th, and then, so because I'm getting there on a Saturday, like, right. they're charging me, like, triple because ah, of the because Saturday night. Saturday, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's fine. I'll just, you know, cry about it later. I'll just be <laughs> in the hotel room sobbing <laughs> with my $100 bills wiping my tears away because I'm giving it right to them, you know. No, so. it's an experience. If you've never been there, I mean, this is something everybody has to. Once yeah, in so life. I think five days, well, the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Yeah, so it was like 500 bucks, I think. So that's yeah, not too that's, bad. that's what I'm paying too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Um, and you know, since because if let's say, I, I guarantee at the um, I guarantee most of the drinking is probably not going to be done at the convention. I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure people. There are is go lunch to, like, right here, so at least we got the lunch covered. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so my goal is right. So I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go to like CVS, get some parfaits for breakfast from like like two dollars, you know. <laughs> And then, so, yeah. so you already got breakfast and lunch covered because I need yes. to save that money for the gambling, the drinking and, you know, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So Jeez. I'm going, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, when we go out, go out on the town at night, yeah. then I, then the big baller, you know, Hexel mm. can come out, come out on the town. Cause I'm probably going to bring like, I don't know. I'm not going to bring a lot. Probably like just like a grand. And, uh, cause that's really all I can. Cause I'm forking out so much money just to freaking go, you know? Yeah. So, um, 15 years, I'm going to be a billionaire. You know that? Yep. So we you're fully staked. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've, uh, dude, I wish I would have gotten to Hex sooner, but it is what it is. It yeah. is what it is. We're on the ride up. But yeah, did you go to Vegas last year? No, I did not. No, but that was like the height of the pandemic where, you know, the US shut themselves off from the rest of the world. So nobody could go in. And I guess you guys couldn't go out. So no, that was really impossible. Um, to to mm -hmm. catch a flight there, like the government wouldn't wouldn't have it. So um, yeah, I hate yeah. the government. And yeah. uh, now the, it's possible, of course, under several conditions. But that's all fine. You have to take a test before you fly, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, yeah, but uh, it's doable. Are you Same talking about back then or still now? now? No, still now, still now. But really? back then you couldn't even even with a test, you were not allowed to. They said, no, no Europeans, no Chinese, yeah. nobody coming in here. So, you know, <laughs> it's completely. Oh, my completely, gosh. Yeah. I wonder how Crypto Spabuk, how they. No, I think they were at the time. How did they do it? Because they I were think in. They were yeah, traveling. they were in Vegas. Yeah, because they were traveling South America first. And I think they came via this angle. Yeah, this was this was a Schengen restriction because our area, you know, the Eurozone, they call that Schengen. And if you were coming from Mexico or something, then you were good to go. But if you were coming from any country that's part of the Schengen zone, that then uh, that was restricted. So yeah, last year was really not possible. I'm glad I could make make London. That was London was really the London gathering, my first sort of international meetup where I saw the Hexkins and you know met Motley the investor and the K and met Richard. I spoke twice. To Richard couldn't get a photo though, <laughs> but uh, I had to like. It's, it, it's like you're you know in the background, Richard, Richard, Richard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, was, I, I like didn't, <laughs> didn't want to bother too much, but no. But I sp had two private moments because I was DJing the party there and the mm -hmm. event, and so. Oh really? There. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So I was there in the afternoon for for the sound check and set up my thing, and he was also still there doing his sound check. So. That's fine. All right, now or never. So yeah, so I went over and introduced myself. But uh, he knew who I was, which was pretty cool. And uh, uh, yeah, because we conversed way back when uh, when Hex launched a lot on Telegram. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so I've kind of followed him for a very very long time. But it took up until London last year to like really really see him, and uh, that was very cool. And we spoke again then later before the night ended at the Fabric Nightclub. And then he came through with his entourage as well. And he has personal security and all that stuff. So, but he was at the club and then we spoke again. So I had twice. <laughs> yeah. I talked to Richard twice. Not once, uh, but twice. Uh, once, but twice. Exactly. So yeah. that was pretty cool. And, uh, and all the other hexagons, they were there, like RG3 and Funding Jim and Motley, the investor, he was the coolest. Like he had this fresh blue marine suit and. <laughs> 
<laughs> he was so proud of his suit. <laughs> he was just <laughs> flying through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Hold his videos well, of it. Like the Morgan, lots of people there. Lots of people. So, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like I said, man. Cool. Once, once that money rolls in, I'll go to everything. You know, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but for you, it'll be the same in Vegas because you will meet uh, many of these people too. And then it's like because you're watching them, probably like myself too. You watch most of the streams whenever you you can whenever work and family and yeah. whatever allows it and then and so you feel you're like you have a relation with everybody and then but meeting them really for the first time live that's that's an experience so, so and that's one of the reasons that i do these like i don't know yeah. you want to call it interviews or whatever or mm -hmm. just having, having people on it's because i want to know people like i want to mm. be able to like show up and then, and then be like oh yeah what's up bro not like oh i've you know i watch you and i know you but you don't know yeah. me yeah you know and i had that in london actually quite a few people came and i was i was worried about that that because i know i have like viewers on my twitch and stuff and i'm on kinetic show so people people know me a bit and uh so they yeah. would come up and you know, yeah, hi, I'm a big fan of your show. I'm like, damn, I don't know who this is. <laughs> like, you know, like, so and I, and I was worried that uh, they would uh, feel offended or something because I really don't want to upset anyone. But it's just, oh, yeah, know, yeah, how, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, and also not fake it, you know. So, yeah. but no, many were kind and introduced themselves with their Twitter name or username. And then, of course, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. And, uh, and then it was then it was it was very cool but like the whole room and everybody kind of in a virtual way knows each other and uh, spend time in this virtual world together it's, it's, uh, it's something special and then to mm -hmm. like you know have that physical handshake you know it's pretty cool it's a is a powerful thing and as well as we are so like-minded for the most part in this community mm -hmm. you know we have our beef and drama pop off every now and then as you've probably also seen on, on dude Twitter i loved these, watching it but days. i don't like to be a part of it no no you, <laughs> and you don't want to be a part of that is like no nah. uh just that recent one man you know like I'm friends with Freddie quotes and 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 what's the other guy rom override rom override he's he's just lives two three hours away from me here in in, in europe you know so Something but happened. i'm even more friends with up. genetics and wales only so i'm like totally you know stuck in well i saw bit. how i don't know what was what it a few months ago how like wales left quant gang yeah that's whatever one. Yeah. that's crazy man <laughs> it is crazy there again i like all three of them like like you know this is, this is i hate it when that happens because I want, you know, markets to develop. They need peace and quiet. You know, we don't need any. It's not good for price. Like, I think we yeah. need uh, less of yeah. that. And then all in public. And then, you know, we have so many enemies on the outside. And they look at us and see us imploding from within. That's not necessary. Like, I think it's, mm -hmm. it's not healthy. But what can you do? It's people as people. And yeah families I'm, have family rows every now and then yeah i'm such like a passive person bro like i i don't even know like even if someone did something i don't want to i don't want to be in beef with people either way so i don't know you're, man. you're positive which is good yeah yeah so i and like i went to the the texas dallas meetup right and that's like the first time ever meeting any, what was that dude it was it was pretty cool you know it was probably about what I expected. Mm. Um, Crypto Heartbeat was there too, right? No, he no, was in... Really? It was either I in could... Austin or Houston, one of oh, the two. Austin, I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And uh, so I met like... I met Kareem. I met mm -hmm. Abid. I met mm -hmm. Lion. And then I met Black Crypto. That's actually how I got him on because I, I talked to him the, like... The show. Yeah. yeah, I got... You know, I talked to him in real life and he was like, man, I'll, I'll come on. And I was like, really? And so, okay. So, you know, I messaged him, got him on and stuff like that. But yeah, man, like, like meeting the people was cool. And that's why, that's why it kind of, dude, I don't know anybody in, in Oklahoma that, that, that does hex. I can't <laughs> find a single a person <laughs> or other than, other than my cousin. I can't find a single person, not one. <laughs> and so I like, I went and got a haircut today and I gave him my card, you know, cause I'm, I have like cards saying like, okay. like with my channel and stuff like that and hex.com on it and stuff. So, uh, maybe one of these days I'll get some Oklahoma Oklahomans. Uh, Oklahoma, <laughs> Oklahoma, yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm I'm excited for Vegas. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Like I said, yeah. I've never never been really anywhere, you know, or in a plane or Vegas, and I'm going by myself, you know. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Don't talk to strangers. <laughs> Stranger danger. <Big> city. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I've heard crazy stories, so uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Nah, I was there twice before, also on uh, on conventions, and it's like this is like Disneyland. Like nothing happens. I mean, I guess you don't want to uh, don't want to wander around at night uh, like you shouldn't in New York or something. And of course, shit can can happen. But um, during the day, you know, this all tourists and and conventioners. This, this is like Disneyland. It's like you know, every the casinos are. No doors, mm -hmm. everything's wide open. Like uh, it's very funny and yeah. friendly, and yeah. So I'm ready to party, bro. Up. I'm ready to party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That last one, man, on, on Nagabo's mansion party. So he parted ways with the DJ he had before, and he asked me now to DJ the whole thing. Um, like, like for this mansion party, like, like in like yeah. next month. Yeah, yeah. So I'm. <laughs> So I can't party with you guys. I have to work now, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm, I love doing that. I, I'll go up to your booth. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just at least say hi. <laughs> Come and say hi. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's like 150 people, so it's not that many. But uh, it's in a house, so we'll be we'll be packed, and I'm sure we'll sell out. And so he told me that um, hmm. that whenever he was on the stream, that the Sterling wasn't going to happen. He was going to a few different places that weekend yeah. to go look. And so I, I guess he's picked a place. I don't know. I mean, I guess so too. It might, but it might not be a traditional like a party venue. It might just be some house, like like a. Some okay, venue. because he, sure said, he said he one, but uh, yeah, he said he needed yeah. to get somewhere that could hold 150, and then uh, that could also uh, accommodate loud music and not you know get the cops yeah. called or anything. Not to have <laughs> neighbors uh, with problems. Yeah, that would right. Be, exactly. That would be not cool. So. Yeah, no, I'm flying in my DJ gear, and oh, because originally the idea we wanted to do this uh, with Freddie quotes at the at the conference, you know, it was like the last night we wanted to, you know, push the tables to the side and and transform the conference room into a into a nightclub, you know, that was like with the mobile bars and some lights and the big PA system. That was the original plan, but yeah, this. Uh, doesn't happen and then nagabo came in and also moved his event onto the last night and then dude i'm glad because i wouldn't have been able to go if yeah otherwise didn't. yeah me neither on the 10th i'm already flying out again so yeah i would not have been able exactly to that exactly well. so i had my flight at uh 10 a.m the next day and like, <laughs> i'm like and i'm like man if i'm gonna be up until like at least two i'll probably get back at yeah. three probably stay up till four and then go to sleep yeah. at four or something yeah. i'm like That'd be Shit, a long night. man. <laughs> I'm going to have to wake up at like eight. Yeah. And like only like four hours of sleep. And so I called the, I called them and they, they only had another one for a 1245. And I was like, man, I'll take the 1245. Yeah, 12 I mean, good. yeah. 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 So that, that'll be good. That'll be good. Um, but yeah, I'm excited, man. DJ or, uh, the mansion party going to yeah. be cool. You yeah, know, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Looking forward to you working. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we still have Freddy quotes performing allegedly so uh, uh let's wait till all these things will be confirmed by yeah people, but uh shouldn't really five 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 them, but yeah <laughs> five 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 oh no i'm getting wrecked a couple again. trillion shares <laughs> yeah you want to know something i actually heard that song for the first time last month what <laughs> That's the I, anthem, man. Everybody okay, but should. let me let me tell you this, right? There are sing that. <laughs> there is so much information out there. Yeah, yeah. So many people that when you have somebody new come in, mm -hmm. they don't know the OG stuff anymore. They're seeing all this new stuff. The, right. Okay, you know, I knew I know who Hexologist is. Have I ever mm -hmm. seen one of his streams? No. Mm -hmm. You know, because apparently So when did you get into Hex? after july. big payday Ju oh, july this year right no this year july hasn't happened yet but uh july <laughs> this, no, sorry <laughs> july last last july. yeah eight Very eight <laughs> seven wait july is seven eight nine ten eleven twelve five so like seven months ago 
I bought the top. Is that is that what you want to say? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I bought the top. I bought. I got in at seven cents. Oh, that's I really, good. I really didn't though because seven is good. Yeah. Well, I bought it seven, and then I bought it twenty, and then I bought it thirty, and then I. So, dude, the sacrifice phase. Oh my gosh, people convinced me to 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 like swap my USD for hex. So I did it, and then the price dumped, and like you know, so then I got less sacrifice. So, mm. you know, that was that. But I bought, but yeah. yeah, I bought fresh for the, even though I'm in since day one, but it's fully staked. So I bought with fresh fiat again for just the sacrifice. And I also bought at six and wrote that up to 17, I think, and then sacked it like a, like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> I think I nailed yeah. that one. <laughs> I kind of messed yeah. up on the pulls X one though. Because messed there, up how do you yeah, mess up i should have gone in all on the first day and didn't and then it dumped like yeah because it was like it was at like 34 cents or something yeah, on the yeah, first yeah. Day. and then but I yeah only i was thinking half of my back and then mm, yeah. i was thinking the same thing so it dude i got 20. scared and then it dumped to 21 cents and i was like okay yeah. i'm sacking i sacked right then yeah. 21 cents and then i wrecked the rest in which I wanted to. So yeah, I'm still okay, I guess. And in the long run, this will be good. But yeah, I could have played that. But I did uh, Pulse Chain. I played that one a little more strategic. But that's hey. good. I couldn't uh, couldn't <laughs> sack until day seven of Pulse Chain. And oh, and okay. I, you know, I didn't like I said, man. Like I'm not able to sack a lot or anything. So I sacked like like four hundred for Pulse and yeah, six hundred for Pulse you X. Can, right? Yeah. yeah. And um. So we'll we'll see how it plays out. Uh, yeah, you know. So, dude, I gotta ask. I gotta ask yeah. you. What is your obsession with frogs? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> because everybody on Twitter has these frogs. I thought. Do they? I must have one too. Yeah, but that's a you, crypto thing. Is a is in a meme like this? Pepe the frog, isn't it? Oh, Pepe. Yeah, yeah. Pepe. A that's meme why frog. I thought we must have a frog too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you designed the frog, right? With the with the hex. <laughs> yes, but okay. So I was so confused when you asked me to make a frog emote. Give me a frog. <laughs> you didn't say no, like meme Pepe frog emote. You just said frog. So I'm oh. over here searching up like frogs. <laughs> but the frog is cool that we have. I love that. <laughs> Nobody has Dude, that. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to figure out how to like make a frog. You need to be original. Like, so, so I, I got like the side profile of like a frog and then I like did like the hex gradient and it looked trash. It looked garbage. So I was like, okay, let me, <laughs> let me just trash this idea. And then, so I found that other frog and then I was like, okay, let's just put hex on the eyes. And I did that and made it glow or whatever. And you know, I was like, okay, this looks good enough. That's Here's awesome. his frog. Here's his frog. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. And then dude, my probably the favorite, most favorite thing that I made was those uh, like, uh, like hex and pulse, like beer mugs or whatever. Yeah, they are. I really awesome. like those. They are awesome. I really yeah. like those, yeah. Because I never know how something's going to turn out until you know until I do it. <laughs> no, I think kinda... I'm pixel for shit, man. I'm like really bad at that. Like I'm I'm artistic with the music, but this uh, drawing or I can't draw a straight line and never could. And this is like this. I really admire that. If you you know you have a vision and you put that to a thing, I like I can. So so I don't draw whatsoever. I mm -hmm. just ma do like like photo mashups and like edits, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And like I, can, bro, I can draw straight lines too. Just take that tool, <laughs> boom, boom. So yeah, yeah, Photoshop's nice. <laughs> I've been using it for years, so yeah. like, and I like doing it. So you know, no, but that's cool. Also, shout out to Fully Croissant. You know the the three D artist. He he did the the whistle that we have the whistle with the hex logo mm. and then there's a russian guy too uh, nuzdarov is his name i don't know if you're familiar with him he's in the hex design chat he gave me the the original set of um of like the the hex logo and the pulse chain logo so yeah and then you came in and turned it all upside down and now we have all these fantastic emotes so that's really cool upside but down you, is right <laughs> but for the small price of like ten thousand really dollars help me out with that <laughs> yeah all for hex man is all for the upper messaging We're pumping your bags up there i streamed that's 400 right. hours last year can you believe that 400 hours on my that's what it says on my twitch channel that's a lot 400 of, hours yeah it's a lot of music man that's yep. a lot. Yeah. So 
when you stream, yeah, you are making money because people are gifting subs and stuff, right? Yeah, and and donating or whatever. So, do you play copyrighted music or no? And if you do, right. can is I speak there... to my lawyer first before I answer that? <laughs> Dude, I get copyrighted strike on YouTube, and it irritates me. Yeah, because this... you're on YouTube. Just okay. All right. Okay, we have just... crypto heartbeat cool. in the chat. Now we have to behave. Oh my gosh! Yes, yes, yes. Now we have no to copyright own... talk. That's no copyright talk. The suit and tie on. <laughs> no, the the deal is this. Yes, I do. And but I'm a fully registered DJ. I pay license fees and I pay insurance and all this crap. Wow! So, so wow! I, like, I have a you know, I have a music. I'm like I. You could hire me for your wedding. I can play Michael Jackson at that wedding, and uh, I could write you an invoice for it. That's how I'm set. Oh, sweet! <laughs> you want you want to you want to come to Oklahoma? <laughs> do the Oklahoma wedding. Yeah. It's gonna be all country music, but you know I, I can do that too. <laughs> I can give you a Bible and a pig for payment. Dude, and I'll a take cow. I'll take that. And a cow. <laughs> yes. And fifty acres of land. Yep, can do it. And a mule. <laughs> In, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. No, but there are that... two sides where as a DJ where you can do that. One is mixed cloud. Mm -hmm. Um they can also live stream a DJ set, but because uh, they have actual deals with um, the music industry. So you also have to pay a monthly membership there. And then you can just play whatever because they are fully covered with all the major record labels. And they, you know, that's that's like paid. And on Twitch, they it's a bit of a gray zone. They They let you do it as long as you do it live and you don't record it. Like then mm. you're not getting in trouble. But I got on you. YouTube, I tried uploading um, the the Christmas special uh, that we did on, uh, for Christmas there with you know mm. the community shoutouts and but it had the few Frank Sinatra songs in between there and I tried uploading yeah. that to YouTube and it wouldn't even let me upload like they what is what are you trying to upload here <laughs> get out of here you know like they wouldn't even it wouldn't even you know I wouldn't even get to step so two. every time I upload a video. Yeah. I get mm -hmm. copyright checked and yeah. like, so it'll, and whatever. So I used to have like a music channel, right? Like back years ago right. and it like, uh, so every once in a while I got like striked <laughs> because I would upload songs or whatever that were, you know, copyrighted. Yeah. And, uh, anyways, you know, I, that's actually this channel, this channel that I'm on. I, I revamped okay. it. Like I, no, like on YouTube oh, I, is impossible. You cannot cannot do that. yeah exactly exactly man i'm telling you the the like uh what is it like i don't know the the labels or industry or whatever you know they just yeah. they they claim your videos and take all your revenue if you have even a sliver uh -huh. there's no fair use man like it yeah. is yeah they'll snatch it all up yeah no on, on twitch yeah. they they let you do it but that's also because the music section of twitch is still a bit in a niche they're they're their main play is the gaming uh, streams. You know, that's way more people, millions of people who watch the, the gaming rather than the music section. So YouTube is paying a lot of those guys to come over from Twitch to YouTube. So like, you know, a lot of the big gamers like Tim the Tapman. Oh, yeah. And like all these mm -hmm. other guys are coming over to YouTube because, um, I don't know, Twitch is doing some weird stuff too, like with the gamers, like the big gamers and stuff. Okay. So, yeah. I don't. I don't even know what they're doing, but I don't even. I don't know, but something like that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you do different days. You do different kind of streams, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm live on the on the Sundays with the the house music, and then on the Tuesdays, I've now teamed up with the other two guys, uh, where you know it's here DJ Alpha Music, and yeah. uh, Patrice is the third one. Uh, and we are raiding us back to back each other. Like DJ Alpha Music starts, he's from Los Angeles in California. And he starts for them, it's time was the morning show. And he goes for three hours with just 80s pop and wave and 80s music. And then he raids over to me. And I'm starting uh, 8 p.m. Central European time. And then we go for three, three and a half hours, all 80s funk and disco. 
you know, the roller skating joints. That's, that's just my favorite music. Like, I can't wait till it's Tuesday again every day. So I can Tuesdays get, are the best. get to play these songs. So, dude, my cousin is obsessed with you. <laughs> it's an ATT, but he's awesome, man. He's a very cool guy. He, every time you go live, every time you go live, he'll message me. Are you watching DJ Stream? Are you watching? DJ? <laughs> There's always something going on, though. I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So but why not? Like when you're doing something on your computer anyway, and just have me running in a in a side tap, and it it all you don't you don't have to watch it all the time. Just just let it play. No, you better watch it. You better have it in your main tab, <laughs> and you better be gift and subs. All right. Yeah. You better be. Yeah. It helps the numbers. I'm not doing yeah. this uh, for money though. Because, uh, yeah, I know people are, are spending bits and, and subs. And uh, number one, it doesn't even even cover the running cost. But but that's not even the point. Like, I'm not doing this for money at all. It's uh, um, it's really to push um, the brand out, push Hex out, and push Pulse Chain out, ideally to people from other communities who come for the music and then realize, oh, wh what is all this Hex here? And then are curious and maybe check it out. And we have seen that that actually happens so it's an interesting way to to find find new people there there you go yeah oh check <laughs> this, out. Check this, out. Check this <laughs> out wow oh that's your own design huh yeah yeah so basically i got like like my at and then like hex and it says like like what hex is like four percent cool. interest a year and then gonna wear this in vegas yeah uh -huh. hex. dude so <laughs> I got, I got like, I made like a bunch of shirts and uh -huh. like, so I got like a Daytona shirt and I like designed something and then I took the design of that other shirt that they've been doing and I put it on the back and then I have like a bunch of other designs. I have like, like a, like one that says, welcome to Hex Vegas, Nevada on the back. And, um, so yeah, that'll be cool, man. I'm so excited to just to meet people, man. It's all, I just, <laughs> I don't know. After I get it, at first, I'm going to be a little shy, you know, I need to just loosen up. After I get a few beers in me, though, it, it's it's go time, you know. Then it's go yeah, time. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it is go time. After I get loosened up, man, I can talk to anybody. But until that point, um, hmm. I don't know. But yeah, dude, I love the streams. They're great. <laughs> um, I did tune in for a little bit on that uh, Christmas stream, so yeah. that was cool. Did yeah, that was there was amazing. like a lot of people that tuned in that was my biggest show ever like i, I had because that's why i'm not recording you know even though that one i let record and then half of it was was muted but still because they just mute out the copyright parts but right um i i still wanted people to have a chance to to see it because it, it was so much fun and richard was there and he sat through the whole thing for for two hours straight and because he was curious about the community shout outs as well and that thing had at the end 1700 live views like i never had that many on on a normal show i get like 120 to 150 live you know well during... and that was pushing out to more people than out outside and, the crypto community and that's the thing like cuz i when you when you're done with it you get a whole mm -hmm. pack of statistics so you can watch a bit if you dive deep where yeah. did these 1700 people come from and it turned out that only half of them were either uh, from my direct followers already, because I have like 850 people following me there. And the other half, um, uh, no, half was, sorry, half was my followers plus people that came through from Twitter, because Richard as well tweeted the direct link to the show out and whenever he does his magic like this then of course tons of people wh whoever streams it is because they think he is in there you know that's why, that's why they click it and, and so we had a bunch of those but then the whole other 50 percent of this 1700 people were uh random people who just picked us up from the browsing page on uh, on twitch because when you have this many views and people spending bits and subs, um, mm -hmm. uh, which the Hexicans, very generous uh, community, they they usually do that when they are in a stream, same as they do it with the super chats on the other shows, because then YouTube and Twitch they see ah oh, people are spending money on those streams, let's push them up, them up on the on the browsing pages so we can make more money because it's it's a business for them after all, and yeah, from exactly. all the gifted subs they take like. Uh, 50% of that money 
and from the mm. bits uh, that the bits pretty much go directly towards the streamer because they took their cut already when you purchased the bits in the first place. So for them, of course, they want to make me with the streams. And uh, yeah, so that's how that all works. So it's in a way it's not required. I'm not doing this for the money, but it's great that people sometimes do it on the stream because the algo catches that up and pushes us higher on the mm. on the browsing pages that's what it's all about so the speaking of that yeah. hype train yeah what i i don't know why i had that i had that symbol in front of my name like we just want to join the stream i didn't even do anything like why <laughs> Why was that there? I don't know. I was hype train. Hype train. Okay. Let's go for sure. hype train. What happens with the hype train is uh, like three things have to happen at the same time. Like somebody new has to follow, another person has to subscribe to the channel for like a paid subscription, and someone else has to donate some bits. Like when these three things happen at the same time ish, that can trigger off a hype train. And a hype train is just a, a thing from from Twitch uh, to encourage the viewers to spend some money on that stream. Okay, because like and make a big thing out of it. <laughs> I was I was so confused. <laughs> what what happened? So, there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, I got a train by my name, man. <laughs> and whoever donated something during this hype train phase gets a special emote and a special recognition next to your username so you're special now if you, oh. if you have a train symbol there so dude yeah. i grind points <laughs> on your channel <laughs> like every chance i get i like click the collect button or whatever the, and the I channel get, like, points yeah yeah because we've got a sample machine going there you can trigger sounds from your favorite hex streamers and now you can have all you know your animation with the daytona car and i have the the black diamond that riches richard purchased i have that up there so you can trigger all yeah. kinds of things to make it into that was that was the last video that i made was about that diamond so that was cool amazing yeah yeah what, what mm. thing. so the to guy... 69 he's also often in my chat. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Here. for sure like uh so the guy that cut my hair like in like a couple hours ago, he huh. like knew about the Enigma, but and I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. you know, our founder bought it. You know, no big deal. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of the shit, you know. I got this kind YouTube channel deal. going, you know. I got a I got an interview going on, you know. In an hour, Here, here's my card, you know. Just catch yeah, me on a stream yeah. sometime. Oh man, we got six <laughs> people watching. Nobody watches us, man. <laughs> but that's good. We're happy. We're having some fun. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, ninety nine percent of it comes from people watching afterwards. You know, watching afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm telling you, I first started off, and there were just two people watching, and now there's four, <laughs> now, now it's seven. Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're coming up. We're going up. We're going up. Going up. I can see the progression. Definitely, you have great guests and great guests in the future. So exactly exactly yeah i just i don't know i guess the thing is like i'm just trying to get out there in the community if like the best yeah. way to do that is by just literally bringing people on communicating with them you know just getting mm -hmm. different i don't know ideas slash interviews out there and it's cool you know, so with the so. graphics that's just like a hobby of yours or are you doing that professionally as well or yeah i i yeah i just do it on my on my free time like okay. it's i have never made money out eh, it's a lie but you know not my <laughs> may, maybe once or twice you know but no yeah. no no, no. I, I don't make any money off of that i i just work like for an it company work eight to five right uh sucks uh and then you know but hey paul shane's coming you know so yeah man i had to spend literally i think six thousand euros What's that in dollars? It's probably a bit more than that. Six, seven. Yeah, seven. Uh, on just six. equipment because everything broke down when I started streaming because I had that stuff all boxed up in, in boxes for years. 6,800. Really yeah, there you go. Just for equipment. You know, the the first thing that broke was the, the monitor speakers. Like mm -hmm. they couldn't carry a three-hour <laughs> DJ session anymore. It was all just <laughs> the noise that came out. Then the my DJ mix-up, the left channel popped out. I only had everything on the right channel. 
the the CD player broke. I'm on the third CD player. Oh, <laughs> so like, man. I had to spend, and I didn't have any cameras. I didn't have, you must have a video mixer. Then you must have a video capture card. So it was one thing after the next, no microphone. So like, I really had to invest long right. in that first year to get that thing uh, off the ground because everything just broke down. It was like really a curse on every stream, something else. Went bust. Yeah. But now I've got my my setup there, and now I can just go whenever I like. And once you know, once these are one off, one time purchases, like hopefully last a couple of years. The only thing original that's left from my old equipment are the the Technics turntable. They are unbreakable, man. I bought these in 1993, I think. They're that old, and they still run like a charm. <laughs> For real. 93. <laughs> yeah. That's when you were born, I guess. <laughs> how old? Can I ask how old you are? No, you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! How old do you think I am? Ah, oh, you're probably like Balliot Brand, the late later twenties. Is that? I am twenty one years old. Twenty one. Twenty one. I was born in two thousand. Wow. Yeah, man, I'm so proud of guys like you and like Value Brand too, who are so young and get involved with something like this here with with Hex and with Pulse Chain. And man, you have the whole life. I'm in my late 40s, so like for me, this is getting out the rat race. Hopefully, a bit earlier than they want me to work in. And and but you have your whole life ahead of you. So many opportunities, and you will have that money. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's right that's amazing man no yeah, i thought you would be a bit older but wow i i just hate the idea of working it just sucks man <laughs> it you know it, and so <laughs> and so it's like it how do i not work mm. dude we were okay so we were in dallas and I, I don't know if you know who this guy is i had him on um i had him on this the stream of like a couple weeks ago, his name's Hex is the way he, um, had his two kids with him. Okay. And you know, they were doing the Q and a after the, after the little, I don't know, seminar or whatever. And his kid asks a bit and says, what's, what's the best pitch, right? How can I get somebody into Hex? And then he says, um, you know, I hate working. And if you don't want to work, <laughs> if you don't want to work, Getting the hex, you know. <laughs> Sounds a bit stupid, though. <laughs> he says, "I hate working." You know, but yeah, shoot, that's, that's I don't know. It's gonna be crazy though, but yeah, because I I just I'm just trying to figure out how to how to get my time back, you know. Yeah. Like, but now you I, see, you can now find the work that you like. Yeah. Yeah, that like is maybe how you should look at it. Like not not working at all, but <laughs> but what do you want to do? Just bum around the house? I mean, you must <laughs> you must everybody must work. Well, <laughs> I like doing this YouTube stuff, right? Okay, I you like see? um this YouTube stuff, you know. So <laughs> I don't know. You can, uh, I don't know. You never know. But yeah, you know when that. The, the prices develop as they all say even for pulse and, and pulse x and whatever the future is glorious so yeah yeah you know we were it. doing like, like too early that's the problem though yeah you were we were doing like yo what's going on bro we were doing <laughs> like uh like like price predictions or whatever mm. and it was like if x was like at four thousand dollars like where ethereum was like in 15 years right like and with the double, you know, dude, that's 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 not just wealth. Like that's like that's like you're setting your grand your great grandkids up. You know, yeah. it's like yeah. it's crazy. And the fact that you can do that forever. Oh, you know, this stake came out. Okay, I'm gonna take the principal, put it back for another 15 years, and then you're getting a 15 year stake after 15 years for the rest of eternity. Yeah, this is like a once in a lifetime thing, man. It's crazy, you know. I had a two year stake out coming like end of last year and i i took a little bit of that to sacrifice for pulse x but the rest i just pushed out again quattro cinco so i didn't need it at the moment so i you know continuously have stakes coming and this it's a beautiful thing mm. <laughs> it's a beautiful so thing. 
<laughs> so you're getting here in yeah. Vegas, like on the fifth, right? Yeah, late on the fifth. Yeah. And then you're just pretty much just chilling until the next day, or what? Um, I yeah, I think so. Unless I, I think I'm invited to some dinner or something, but I don't know if that will actually happen because I'm coming super late. Uh, right, we'll probably, right. Um, be probably all dead from the long ass flight because I'm flying. <laughs> how long? From, wait, how long is the flight? I'm going from Munich to Chicago. You know, I, originally I was supposed to switch planes in Denver for Vegas, but mm -hmm. now they moved it to Chicago, so you have to fly longer and then fly longer down to to Vegas. So that's another two hours. I think the flight to Chicago is probably eight nine hours. I think. And then so it's like an 11 hour flight. I have to sit there for two hours at the airport. Then it's another two hours to Vegas. Then I have to get to the hotel. So I'm probably it's like 13, 14, not hours. doing much on the fifth. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah. Like it's all travel. And then next and morning, I thought four hours there. was bad. Dang. You have four hours. Yeah. Like, well, you know, I got delay. I go, I go to Dallas and then I go to Vegas. Oh, you can't go direct because Oklahoma is not that i mean i could i could go direct right, okay but um that's the cheapest thing that american airlines had for my points and so i was like you know and driving is no option whatsoever is that too long of a drive with the car? yeah i'm not driving 17 hours i'm sorry oh my God. 17 <laughs> 17 yeah. hours man yeah speed yeah limit <clears throat> yeah exactly especially with that 55 speed limit no thank you yeah yeah. You have to come to Germany, man. We can still race. I've never been out of the country. As fast as we can as we want. Still. I need okay, so I'm gonna get my Lambo. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to take it to Germ no, sorry. I'm just gonna go to Germany and then just rent a Lambo, you know? You just you rent know. a Lambo here, exactly. That's how you do it. Yeah, you know, because once we delay that gratification, you know, it don't matter. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> just go Airbnb a mansion and grab yeah. you know, grab me a Lambo. Grab no a Lambo, biggie. throw an old mansion party and then <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Go to right. the Oktoberfest. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so I'm going to, I guess I'm going to get there on the 5th, right? So yeah. at like 2, at like 2 p.m. And then I'm going to check into my hotel and then I'm probably going to like, I don't know, go to CVS and, and get water and crap because I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get a $10 water bottle out of the freaking fridge and then charge me like $15 for a water bottle, you know, so. Yeah, no, you want to get that at Walmart, but even there it's like $6 now. So prices have gone through the roof, right? <laughs> like with groceries and everything. Mm, so, thanks, Biden. It's yep. crazy. <laughs> don't know if it's his fault though, but yeah. It's, uh... it's definitely his fault. Oh, it's his fault. <laughs> All right. Got it. Got well, it. when you pump 40 per... Never mind. This is the politics <laughs> channel. I'm not, <laughs> dude. Channel. Yeah, that's the other channel. I don't want to get. I don't want to get my channel taken down by the government. Yeah, so, right. yeah. But uh, yeah, dude. I'm so excited for Vegas. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be gonna cool. Be... And your cousin chicken out on us, right? He says he's not coming. Yeah. Now. What is exactly? That like? We're only coming for him. What is? Yeah. That? Yeah, <laughs> dude. I don't know what his issue is. You, you must know? have a word there. <laughs> Just Family. because, yeah. Kids are not an excuse. Oh, wow. It's not an excuse. Sorry, man. Right. You know. Oh, kids. Okay. Okay. He wants to go to PulseCon, and I want to as well, but I don't. I don't know if I'll be able to, because you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure about that because, like, doing twice that trip in the same year, and my wife and all that, like, it's exactly, exactly. You know, so. Yeah, so but that's why I'm trying to that one first. Then yeah, then. I'm trying to make this hex thing, you know, go crazy in Vegas. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to, bro. I'm trying to party. Yeah. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to get turned. I'm trying to eat the free lunch. Well, included lunch. You know, you did pay three hundred and sixty nine, and then you got to pay taxes on that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some exactly. some tacos in a box. That's what it's gonna be. But we'll eat that. Yeah, it'd be better than spending forty dollars for uh, Dr Pepper. You know, so <laughs> sounds good to me. Yeah. Forty dollar taco, DJ. You going to the Naga party? I'll let him answer that. Yes, he is. But what are you doing there? I will DJ the Naga party. So this will be exciting, exciting. And he gave me like a playlist. He's like, "Don't you play any techno music at my party?" <laughs> I, <laughs> I only want R and B and hip hop there. But uh, I love that. Music. I came out with a. I came out with a hex rap. Oh yeah. That's serious. Death to that off the top. 
Um, <clears throat> I, I don't even, okay. I wrote it in two hours and then I recorded it and mix and mix and mastered it in like four hours. So, you know, wow. I, it's a six hour song. No, not a six, okay. a six. Hour, okay. The song's not six hours, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to premiere that at the mansion party. Yeah, it has Nagabo in the beginning. Oh, and it, okay. it, it has him saying, you're the only motherfucker that can wear skinny jeans and them shit still look like bell bottoms. <laughs> and then at the end, it like at the end of the song, like it goes back into him saying like, Ethereum must die or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, man. <laughs> Ethereum fees way too motherfucking high. Egos got way too big. All up in the fucking sky. Paul's chain is here. It's for Ethereum to die, you know. That's how it goes. Wow. <laughs> Trap shit. Nice. <laughs> Trap shit, man. Yeah. Getting it in. Yeah. We're going in right now here on the Hex That's Element. That's right. Show. That's right, wow. man. I, I could give you, I, you know, Freddy quotes. Who's that? Hex Element. That's, that's where it's that's at. That's repping you know? crypto, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I need, you know, Ooh, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, man, I've been rapping forever. I'm still working on this call into my show that people can like make a Zoom call into my show and rap over the beats. <laughs> that would be that'd, cool. That'd and be so the the only issue I've had because I've tried to do that, and if you can find a way to make it, because like even if there's the slightest delay, yeah, because that's my issue too. Yeah. Their voice is not gonna come in at the same time, and it's not gonna like hit on yeah. beat. It's gonna sound really yeah. weird, you know. So, so I mean, Joker can... apparently he has a fix to that, but I still haven't gotten to. Okay, because if that's if that fix is done, man, it would yeah, that would be sick. Yeah. That would be sick. And I also like with other DJs, we could do a mix back to back, but it has to be in sync. Otherwise, it's just it's just awful. So we have to yeah. But the delay when I'm streaming out, there's literally a twenty second delay or something like. Um, you can see when I type something in the chat, uh, because I'm it takes forever for your fingers to come up after it sends. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so my, yeah. what I wrote is already there, but you only see me writing it 15, 20 seconds later. So there's a yeah. bad delay up there. And, right. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, man, I'm looking forward to it. You know, we got, you got your, uh, your show going good. You got, we got Vegas coming up. We got, um, Pulse chain coming out soon, so We're winning NASCAR on Sunday. How did I forget that? Yes, we are Top going three. to be. No, what? Top one. <laughs> Top one, <laughs> dude. I'm no, putting. Rick and Risho said top three. Then the driving. I'm putting. I'm gonna put. Bonus. I'm gonna take out a second mortgage to bet. Okay. To bet first place, and I'm gonna bet my whole hex bag that it's gonna win first. Just kidding, but. <laughs> That would be sick. (laughs) Yeah. Well, did you have anything else to add or? No, follow me on Twitch, everybody. Check for the album coming out soon. (laughs) No, it's not album. Yeah. Uh, It's twitch.tv slash DJ underscore cryptomatic. And thank you so much, Hex Element, for having me on. Looking forward to seeing you in Vegas. I guess we just stay in touch, right? Over a Twitter message. And like, I guess on the fifth, I'm, I'm dead, but the other days we should definitely. Yeah, bro. Go for a burger yeah. at McDonald's or something. Yeah. Anything something cool like it, that. Anything that's not a hundred dollars for a burger, <laughs> you know, <watch> like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. I can't, I cannot wait. Yeah, bro. I, Cause I've been trying to figure out, I've been trying to like, figure out like, like, okay, who am I going to hang out with? What are we going to do? Cause like, I have no yeah. idea. I mean, not a yeah. clue what's going to happen. And so uh, I know I'm going to go with the flow, but I also like to have a little bit of a plan, you know, so. Yeah. Maybe more will be announced. Like there will definitely be evening events too and, and stuff where everybody goes to and OG parties. That was the thing in London, which was they were exclusive OG parties, which I also wasn't invited to. So that was a bit weird. So I hung out with the plebs then, but that was cool too. <laughs> you <laughs> can... Jet- with the Dude. gen pop. All right. I'm pop. not an OG, but you can be in my OG party. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to create one and I'm not going to invite any of the OGs. They don't get to come except yeah. for you. You're the only OG. So we're going to have, we're going to have the pleb party. Okay. Appreciate that. The pleb, the, the pleb the, chat. The, <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh that was a gen pop, you know, like with with my hexagons. That's where I belong to. I don't That's know. right. That's right. I don't need all that, you know. Mm. Whatever. Yeah, you don't need that. No. You know, clout. You know. No, I don't need the clout. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'm well, really looking forward to it. Also, Rich is going to give like a an opening statement. He will live stream into the thing. I guess he won't be there, but he will live transmit to so the opening of the party. Give a what's it called? A keynote. Yeah. So yeah. that should be awesome. Yeah. Sweet man. I cannot wait. It's gonna be yep. a life experience because I've never done anything like that. And for sure, uh, man, for sure. Yeah. Well, guys, if you have not already, like you already said, go check him out. DJ underscore cryptomatic at uh it's actually first link in the description. Just click that. It's going to be a lot easier. It'll take you right Thank to you. it. Go, yeah. give him a, go give him a sub. If you do not sub, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your family. So you better give him a sub. Okay. And check out the frog emotes, which uh, Hex Element has done on the channel. Yes, the frog <laughs> emotes. You nobody better check those out. Nobody. Don't get nope. it <laughs> That's right. Nobody got. No, nobody has that. Go get that. So, yeah, I mean, go, go follow him on Twitch. Go follow him on Twitter. Boom, boom. And... Uh, you know, that is really it, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all in Vegas. I'm going to be doing, like, a little vlog. Um, and then after Vegas, I'm going to edit all of it, you know. So, yeah, that's going to be cool, too. Um, anyways, guys, that has been it from us. I will see you guys, see you guys later. All right, peace out. Cheers.